What's up, guys? A little bit of a late, um, late meta update here. Uh, it is currently 11.20 at night. I just finished a double block of scrims for two different teams, and I want to rip my eyeballs out. I have to get up for work at 5.30 tomorrow, and I'm still doing this because I'm an idiot. Instead of just making up an excuse, I'm just doing it now. Anyway, so my meta update. If you aren't already subscribed, please do. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you keep uh, these videos, like them, share them, all that bullshit. All right. So, ADC. Not much has changed. Uh, there is a patch that is coming out tomorrow that might shift it a little bit, but I still feel like Cupid, Chernabog, Charybdis, Haim, Ho Yi are just best five right now. Your best five. Um, you really should just stick with that pool if you just want to guar like, guarantee more wins. Other than them, AMC, Uller, Chiron, X-Ball, Hachi are all pretty okay. Um, but I would stick with the Heimdall, Ho Yi, Cupid, Chernabog, Charybdis with the same build I've been showing you guys for the past week. Um, and I still think it's go it's going to be the same build, probably. There isn't really a reason to change your builds unless, I don't know, somebody who knows ADC better may might change a build around and might be better. But supports. Similarly, uh, Yemoji and Kepri, best two supports in the game. Stand alone right now. Um, top two. And Yemoja has ridiculous healing. You have to buy Curse Donk against her or she's just going to win the game for them. Yemoja ult is crazy. Kepri ult is crazy. Kepri does really good CC because he has a non drable pluck. And he has a Resurrect. As per always, uh, Yemoja is even better if you're good with her. And Ares is, is good if you can play him well. Um, Ganesha, Kabraken, Bacchus, Atlas, Sylvanas, Terra, all pretty strong rank picks right now. Kuzumbo is getting a buff next patch, but I really don't know how good that's going to be. Um, I don't think it will be insane for support. It might be make it better, but yeah. For mid lanes, I'm doing this a bit faster because I want to go to fucking bed. So mid lanes, um, I guess mid lane and support here. E set and Nox are still very playable in both roles. Um, e set more so than Nox, I believe, because E set's just disgusting, man. E set does so much damage, has so much healing, has good shielding. She's just fucking nuts. Nox is more of a anti dive character. And she does it very well. Both those characters can be played in support. And uh, E-Set more so in mid. Nox isn't really that good in mid, but... E-Set, the Morgan, um, Yu Huang, Hades. It's so weird to say that. Hades. And there is a big change coming next patch that is going... You're going to see a spike in Vulcan play. Um, however, I do think he's still going to suffer from similar issues as he did before. Um, because his one no longer can be crippled. Um, but I still think he's going to suffer from the same things that he can just get gone on and killed. But you might see a spike in him. I don't think it means much. Hades is still disgusting. He blinks, auto attacks, twos, and if you don't age us by the time he fears you, you're dead as a carry. 100% dead. Um, Yu Huang, still a nuts mage. Eset, still a nuts mage. The Morgan, similar to Hades, but a little bit worse. Just explodes people and then becomes somebody else, uses their kit, and then turns back into the Morgan uses her kit again. Um, those are kind of your best mid picks right now. If you're going to run a Hunter, Chiron, Uller, AMC, your big ones. Um, yeah. Junglers. Daji, Hunbats, Lancelot, uh, Sirket, Robin, Rat, Pele, Nemesis, all really, really strong picks. One that's seen a bit of a rise recently, um, and honestly, he's kind of been destroying it in the higher levels of ranked set. The build favors him. He likes Hydras. He likes um, the Brawler's buff. He likes all that stuff. Um, and he just destroys people. Um, that's plain and simple. You can run a match with Set, and you can hard carry a game with Set if you get a good lead. He snowballs out of control and becomes impossible to deal with. Um, for Soul Lane, Guan Yu, Hades, still really, both really good. Tyr's still pretty strong. Shiva's really strong. Osiris is really strong. Um, Kakul and King Arthur. Next patch are going to be weaker because Sovereignty is getting nerfed. With Sovereignty getting nerfed, and it's not going to be as good for solo laners anymore, King Arthur and Kakul are going to fall a little bit out of favor. I don't know if people are just going to pick up Gaia instead, and it's going to be the same shit, um, different coat of paint, but it's going to hurt them at their performance. But... Shiva, Kakulin, Osiris, Tyr, Guan Yu, King Arthur, all very strong picks right now. 
The Nike buff does nothing. The Mulan buff actually might put her in a bit more prominence. I don't know why they keep buffing this character. Eventually, it's going to be too much, and she's going to run the game. She's going to run the game from support, jungle, and solo. They need to stop buffing that character. In terms of assassins, Rob and Rat, still both strong solo laners. Um, Sukiyomi and Lancelot still feel disgusting. Well, Lancelot specifically still feels disgusting. As I said last episode, episode, last video, um, his damage is insanely high. He survives for so long. Characters were fucking ridiculous. Sukiyomi um, is a very high poke character, and you could, you could abuse less experienced solo laners with him. Um, and I guess for the Guardians, really quick. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, Kabrakid, Atlas, both pretty strong picks. There's been this uh, scummy full damage Sylvanas build that's been going around. I believe I've talked about it before. But yeah, um, you can run something like this and just destroy people. You get early poke, you could cheese them, get an early kill, and then just snowball from there. And I believe that's it. Thanks, guys. Peace.